Alright everybody, in this video we are going to clean up three bullets that we've made out of sterling silver. And it don't come out perfect when it come out. It's like anything else. You use a sand casting and you get a few little pieces on the edges you gotta take care of and all. Let's check it out. Alright, the first thing we want to do is remove these pieces. This way you pour the liquid, you start going down in there and it ends up right here. So what we did was cut these off on all three of them, which I've already done, and that's gone. So now these back ends will have to be sanded down, which I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that in a little bit. Some of them are not bad, but on the edge where you join the two pieces together, you'll get just a little bit along this edge you gotta take out. It looks really good on the grooves and all though. I like it. So this one's not bad at all. A little bit on that one, and just a little bit on that one. And this is where it was cut off, so we'll definitely have to go in. Clean that up, smooth it out. And I use, I actually use a belt sander for some of this. So we're going to be going out there and, and doing that in just a minute. And then you have, we'll have to hand fix some of these grooves in here where it's in there. Make sure they're all nice and even. After that, we'll start taking the buffing wheel and buffing it out and turn it into a beautiful bullet like that. That's awesome, isn't it? Anyway, let's get started right now. We're going to take these out there and um, hit these with the sander and get them back in shape then we'll come in here and do some detail uh work on these here we go all right the first thing we'll do is take this back lip off here where it pulled down there and then we'll try to work on the nose here but let's start off with this right here and see uh if we can get that done here we go We're getting a little closer. We got that nice and smooth on bottom. Uh, we get that somewhat round. I'll take some sandpaper and really clean that up a little bit better right there. Uh, we got this edge down pretty good, and that one's completely gone. That looks good. This is just the beginning. I use some sandpaper to get some of this up, so we'll we'll go play this with some sandpaper now to kind of get down to the nitty gritty. It really is a lot harder to come off than you think it is. We'll have to go into each one of these little grooves and take that out too. Then we're going to buff it out looking good. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, now that we've got the majority of the casting imperfections off, we're going to go in here and hand, uh, hand start cleaning some of these off now and do some more detailed work on them. We'll have to uh, get inside these grooves like right in there. We'll take some regular light sandpaper and finish cleaning up these edges a little bit. And... Uh, Get them ready. Boy, they're looking pretty, aren't they? I think they are so awesome. All right, let's get in here and do more cleaning. Here we go. All right, next I'm going to take some different grinding tools here and where I can get actually get in between here that fit perfect inside the grooves and make sure all the grooves are clean where the casting floors were. And once we get them clean like that, we will uh, move on to the next step. we still got a few uh, to clean up over here. Or each one of them will actually clean it up, make sure the back even. That's a casting right there that caused that right there, but we're gonna clean them up right now. Here we go. Yep, that's looking perfect right there. All right, we'll keep doing each one of them and get them right. Here we go. All right, they're starting to look pretty good now. Now what I'm doing a little bit of hand sanding on here now. I got a sponge on back of the time to give me a nice little round edge on it. So as I turn it, and as I'm turning this thing and spinning around, getting some of the imperfections off and making a nice rounded edge on it. And we're going to try to get to the point. Next thing we'll do is we'll buff this out like a mirror. But we want to get it kind of smooth on it pretty good before we start buffing. Make sure everything's nice and good on it. I tell you what, that is looking good right there. A Civil War bullet. That is cool. But, out of some silver. I like it. Alright, let's keep working on this thing and get it to the point. Then I'll take it in there and start buffing it out. And you'll see it come like a man. You'll see it just shine right up. Here we go. Alright, we're working it down to 400 grit now. We're just kind of easing up and kind of do a little final touch up on this pickle. We've got to go through the other two bullets too, but right now we're just kind of playing with one. 
trying to get the process down here what we're going to do. Look at that. That is looking pretty. I like it. I like it. She's really shining up. And for the grooves, I'm actually folding it in like this and coming in here like this, going through the each groove to kind of clean it up. So when we buff it out, those should buff out too. Pretty good. Each one of them. So we're getting close to the finished product. It is awesome, turning awesome here, man. Alright, we still got two other bullets to do here that y'all don't see over here, but I'm just showing you kind of one on what I'm going through with it. And it's looking good. It is looking good. Alright, keep getting up. Alright, this is where the magic happens. We got red root, jewels root, and what we do here is we go through here and we polish it up. This stuff will make it nice and bright shiny. We're going to go around here like this. Just kind of all over it. You can see it buffing out this bright, bright shiny. Can you see that? Make a little spot get cleaned off. Look at that. Nice and bright and shiny. We'll do all this. I'm going to actually take the edge and go down in each one of these grooves here. To get them as shiny as I can, but they, uh, they might not get bright shiny in the grooves, but we'll clean them up a little bit. Anyway, go through all these right here, and then we will uh, check it out. Stay tuned, and we're going to clean all four bullets up. Well, three, I'm actually retaining the one that I did to start with, so now I'm kind of learning a little bit more. Always living and learning. And improving the process. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. All right, to get inside the grooves, this is just like a little brush here. And we're going to actually put some rouge on this, and we're going inside these grooves right here like this. To get them nice and clean. They seem to work pretty good. Always learning, like I said, we're always trying to improve the process. And it, this did seem to bust the legs up pretty good, so we're going to do this on all of them. Alright, some of y'all are going to disagree with this, but I'm going to take these nice halfway shiny, because I still got a little bit of stuff that needs to be cleaned off. Put them in my stainless steel mix. This will shine them up. Put a, just a little bit of uh, a little Dawn in it. A little bit of my Lemmy Shine. Get in here. Come on. There you go. A little bit. And a drop of Shine Bright. This stuff will make stuff shine like crazy. All this combination right here. I've taken some really terrible looking stainless, I mean, um, silver from the beach, and it shines up like brand new. So I've got a feeling it's going to shine these bulls up even brighter. So let's get this on and uh, get it turning, and we'll show up and then pipe out. I'm thinking 30 minutes might do it. All right, let's do it. All right, it's been about 30 minutes here, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, what do y'all think? Let me pull the first one out. Oh my god, look at oh my god, look at that. Holy smoke. That is beautiful. They're all gonna be like that. I don't know what it is about how this mixture I got in here, but it makes them oh my god, look at that. They are coming out. Beautiful. I went ahead and threw my other one in here that I did the first time, and they are coming out. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they are just like just hit just a little bit off. Guys, they are some shiny bullet sterling silver. You can't beat that. Although these are so shiny, I do one more thing. Run across this jeweler's cloth here and give them one final little buffing on this cloth. Oh my gosh, I can see my reflection in it. They are so shiny. Unbelievable. We'll do this to every one of them. Look at that. Holy smoke. That is just amazing. Super cool. We'll do all four of these in just a little bit. And get them all shined up. Awesome. Alright, that's going to wrap this video up. Look at that. Unbelievable. They are beautiful. These are actually ringtail sharks. Uh, made from a real bullet. From the civil ringtail shark bullet. From the Civil War. Through sand casting out of sterling silver beautiful 
I will go ahead and let you know I'm gonna do one more thing on. My daughter is uh took a class and wraps these bullets with a little hanging where you can actually hang it. So I will have these on my Etsy site at some point, but I'm gonna get them up there this weekend and have them wrapped it on it and it'll be a little hook on it where you hang it. Is that cool or what? All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, subscribe to the Gig Bassett, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Stay tuned.